Hello, everyone, and welcome to Earthbound. New series time. I've been having a having a want to play this game. Uh, new game, please. Fast text speed. I guess stereo works. Don't see why it wouldn't. Uh, mint, strawberry, banana, peanut. Um, I'll go for mint. I like mint. So yeah, new Let's Play time. Another RPG. I haven't played one in a while. I thought I've played a, a lot of uh, kind of collecty platform stuff lately. Want to do something a bit different. So welcome to uh, Earthbound, an turn-based RPG for anyone who hasn't known. You may recognize this guy from Smash Brothers, because he's Ness. I will be using the default names for everything. She is Bala. This guy is Jeff. And this this guy is who? Our pet's name is King. Our favorite homemade food is steak. And our favorite thing is rock. Yep. The year is 1990X. Onet, a small town in Eagle Land. Also prob possibly pronounced as Onet. I don't I don't know. I've heard both. I don't think there's ever been confirmation. I'm gonna say own it, because that's what I'm used to. Ness's house. We were woken by something. Uh, you can press A to get your main menu. Talk to goods, which is our items. Equip, equipable items that are status. And we can check. But if you want to check things fast without going into that menu, press L. Just want to bring that up for anyone who hasn't uh, perhaps played Earthbound. I'd recommend it. It's a great game. Got our sister. Hey, bro. Did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Yes. I got a present. Let's open the present. There's a cracked bat inside. And we're going to equip that uh, as a weapon. So, yeah. Go check. I'm going to be checking a lot of things because Earthbound tends to... Well, I say that, and there's been nothing to check so far. Hey, Mom. What was that noise? Ness, you didn't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I ask you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. There's the look. The iconic Ness style that we all know and love. Yeah. Earthbound's been on my mind lately since I've been watching some... Well, I've been watching some stuff about the series in general. Hey, dog. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Excuse me. Beep. Alright, cool. Let's go. Let's go investigate that noise. 
around the town. No pro- Excuse me. I want to return home, but the roads are closed. People are taking this meteorite situation seriously. Don't panic. It's just a- uh, What? Meteorite. That. Who? Fell? I just want to- What? Go home. On it, police- uh, infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We're going the we're going for the world record. South to the suburb, south to the suburbs of Onet. Yeah, like this game, it's just a little, little strange game with a lot of fun. It's a fun game. You'll you'll get it. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Uh, don't you know what time it is? Get get your butt home pronto. Meteorite has landed. The, sh the sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around, and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Jeez. It's dangerous to go on the hilltop. Even I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? That's right. Uh, is this the right way? I don't want to go the right way just yet. I want to explore the whole town before we're forced into going places. Hey, you. Don't you know what time it is? Uh, I want to grab this present, and then I'll he I'll head back down because I think this is the way we're supposed to go. There's a bread roll inside. That's a healing item. I don't remember how much it heals. I'm not a I don't. So this game, uh, and why I wanted to eventually get around the Let's Playing it. Excuse me. Um, I've seen this game been beaten multiple times, but I've never beaten it myself. And I and all I remember are like little. It, the important moments, but I don't remember why they're important. So it's kind of a blind series. Did you hear the big bang? I heard a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be, I want to be the first to see it. Okay, I'm gonna try to be the first to get there. Whose house is this? I think I know. Yep. Oh hi, Pokey. My brother ran out here to chase after the police car. He said Picky should be should stay at home, so I'm home watching our house. Mom and Dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. So this is our neighbor's house. Remember the name. Remember the name Pokey. It'll be important. We'll meet him soon. Uh, I don't think there really is much else for us to see down here as of yet. Excuse me, trees. All right, all right. I'll go around. Playing this on the uh, Super Nintendo Classic, mainly for the controller. I know I could have used like the Nintendo Switch Online. And I forget if I have it on my Wii U too. I, <laughs> how many copies of Earthbound do I have? And I've still never beaten this game. I've always get, I always get like half around halfway through, and then I stop because either I'm too busy, I get burnt out, or a new game comes out. But no, I'm doing a Let's Play, and I'm gonna finish this. Uh, some people have been watching the channel, though, uh, may be aware- Oh, hold on, let me talk to you. And it's hi, buddy. The meteorite fell down and went boom. It was real mess for a while. I was- I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you- Whoops. I almost told you about my, uh- by the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote, uh, I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Treasure hunter. This is, this is Liar X. Layer X. Agarit's house. What? Am I, am I too stupid to understand? Uh, probably. I've never been the greatest at reading. <laughs> Anyone who's watched the channel will know. That meter looks different than usual. It's strange and, and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. Uh, one thing I want to get to, for anyone who watched the last episode on the channel last time, uh, uh, before we get to the important stuff, there's going to be a lot of dialogue. Uh, so if you're familiar with my channel... Last thing I posted was uh, an episode of Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy, where I tried attempts at a time trial on the Stormy Ascent level in Crash 1. And I said 
Now, I said this at the end of the episode, so I just want to bring this up for anyone who might be confused because they didn't watch the full episode. I said I would release another video after several hours of attempts if I beat the level and get a time trial. I did the attempt, and I did not get it within the time I set for myself. So here we are in Earthbound. Now we're all caught up. Nice timing, Ness. Will you say something to po Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Yeah? And you live in a house next to his? I see. Hey, Ness. Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops. I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about this strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. I'm gonna bug them a bit more. Shh, shh. Clear out, get out of the way. Clear out, get out of my 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 way. Whoops, my mistake. I mean, get out of my way. Wait. Clear out of way of way out get my is what he said earlier I didn't I didn't catch that see it's, it's little moments it's just, it's just so st stupid in a good way and I love it uh, oops not that way well uh, I guess we head back now head back home do as pokey says I know in the Japanese version he's called porky but I believe they were worried about you know, like, Porky Pig from Looney Tunes, like, whatever, what, what, I don't remember, what's the company that owns Looney Tunes? Oh, hey mom, welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about, to, talk, talk about it tonight, it's late, let's get off to bed now. Sure. Um, so I think that's the reason they changed his name. I might say Porky from time to time, but later that night. Um... But, uh, just because I've been watching some Mother 3 stuff lately, which never has been officially translated. I forgot how crazy the knocking is. Jeez. Um, it's never been officially localized or released, but there is a really good fan translation. I've played that before. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. My land, who could who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? How do you feel about this, King? I've got fleas sucking up sucking me dry, so I'm just gonna lie still for now. Hi. Right. Hey Pokey. Hey, listen to what I've gotta say. I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed. Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite land landing left suddenly. Deal with the sharks. You know the sharks. They're the local ruffians. And they were really in, uh, going wild. Suddenly I noticed that Pinky was gone. I'm in the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. You won't... Won't you help me find Picky? Yeah, sure. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? I know the dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. Crack Bat in Tracy's room could help you out in a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Alright. It's music. Earthbound music's very unique. For anyone who hasn't seen these games, you'll learn that right quick. Yeah, sure. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Yay! King joins us. Come on. Come on, Pokey. Alright. You go out in front, and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. Pokey joins you. Let's go, gang. Oh, phone call. 
Let's answer the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work is exhaustion. Work, work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress while you call me. Oh yeah, I just deposited $30 in your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Draw money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. We'll get phone calls from our dad every once in a while. And enemies. About the runaway dog. We got Bash, which is what it sounds like. We attack goods. We have that ATM card, crack bat, and red bread roll. Auto fight, run away, defend, and PSI, which we don't have any yet. At the bottom, you'll see HP and PP. HP's health points. PP, I'm assuming I would stand, stand for psychic power, which is which will tie in the PSI once we get any. So we're just gonna bash. Oh, my dog is uh, playing dead. Cool. Seven HP. Make a loud, piercing howl. Barking, Pokey is using Ness as a shield. Runaway dog became tame. That's it. That's pretty simple. We're level two now. Offense went up. HP went up by one. We learned Life Up Alpha. Now we have the use for PSI. Life Up Alpha will heal us a little bit. Uh, I don't think there's going to be anything else outside that we need to worry about, so let's just head towards the meteorite, I guess. Oh, snake. That's new. I'll try and counter, like, each enemy at least once. And the coil snake. Bash. <laughs> yeah, king will occasionally attack. I don't think... Wow, okay. Snake... Snake was... Snake was easy. Alright. Cool. Uh, we can't run. That's one thing to note. Uh, and I think... Oh, uh, maybe not. Yeah, I might be thinking of Mother 3 on that one. Um... Is it a spiteful crow? Um... I, at least I thought... Um... You can, uh, maybe I just didn't do it right. And Mother 3... Wow, okay, this, this crow is giving me the workaround. I need to heal myself soon. Come on, get out of here, spiteful crow. Hooray. Hey, I left a present. I got a cookie. Occasionally enemies will drop items. Another healing item, which I might use now. Uh, bread roll. 30 HP cookie is 6 HP. I'll use the cookie. Um... What was I saying? I got distracted. Uh, at least in Mother 3 you can do this. I don't know about... Um... Ah! There it is! So, Green Swirl means... Uh... We accounted it from behind, technically. Although, last time we were behind the crow, when it didn't count. This time we definitely weren't behind the crow, but I guess we were. Uh, it allows us to attack first. If we get attacked from behind, the swirl will be red. And they will get a chance to attack first. Otherwise, if it's gray, it plays out as normal. Also, you may have noticed our HP, uh, which I might want to heal. These crows are, these crows are tough. I'm going to use the bread roll. The HP counter. Never mind. It it scrolls instead of when you take instead of taking damage um, immediately like most RPGs. Uh, I'll eat that cookie again. Nice. See, it rolls, which can be used to your advantage if you take enough damage. See, we weren't behind. 
Because we weren't behind the enemy there. Uh, I'm just fighting these enemies for experience. I know they're tough, but the breeding game of this game is a little tough. Uh, but anyway, get to my point. We can use that to our advantage if we take enough damage that would kill us, but we end the fight before it's done adding the damage. It will stop. It's neat. It's unique. I like it. Uh, another snake. How are we doing? Press B to check our stats. Uh, the snake wasn't too bad last time. I have a feeling I might be thinking of Mother 3 again, but I feel like snakes tend to have poison to them. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah, the snakes aren't that bad. Coil snakes. They're not worth much either. 1xp. They might drop like an antidote maybe if they really are poisonous. Venomous. Sorry. Gotta know my... Gotta know my... My, uh... My terms. Uh, there's another crow. I don't know if I... Well, if it'll... Can it fly up? I don't think it can. It's trying, but it can't. Hey, Nez. Wanna buy... I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man. When I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. Oh, there's Picky. Alright. Let's go see what's what's going on with that. Let's check out this meteor. Oh! If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Well, see ya, King. Brave dog. Caution. Still lots of fires burning there. and It's hot. What? Uh. Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that, I'm glad that you're okay at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Geez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Now Picky's with us. Ness, do you hear a, do you hear a buzzing, uh, do you hear that, uh, do you hear a buzzing that sound like a bee that sounds I didn't see the S on sound wow okay gotta get my eyes checked apparently here are a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around no oh come on you must hear it oh there it is A bee I am, not. I'm from ten years in the future. And, in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I'm from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path to light. You see, it is my opinion that you were that boy, Ness. That this I believe. Gygus's monstros uh, monstrosity's plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat North Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are exceptional as... You are as exceptional as ex as I expected you to be. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Ness, looks like you're you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Cause I'm not I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez. 
I was almost panning right out of my chest. Oh, let's go. Bug and friends, quote unquote, in, in tow. You have anything to say about this? Not close enough. So I'll tell you. Can you come visit me al later alone? Uh, that's. That's interesting. We'll deal with that later. Oops. I always make the wrong turn there. Come on. Come on. So I believe something around here is supposed to happen. It's quiet. Too quiet. There's no enemies anywhere. There it is. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Boss fight! It's a Starman Jr. Um... Yeah, recognize these? Maybe from Smash Brothers? Um... Probably heal. Do we have any goods? I'm gonna use the bread roll. Guess I shield gamma or sigma. Is that what that symbol is? Uh, either way, we were enveloped in a shield. P PSI 3 is alpha. Interesting. Maybe I should turn the text speed down a bit because I'm, I'm having a tough time, to be honest. Well, let's bash the Starman Jr. Wow. Wow, okay. Buzz Buzz doing a lot of damage here. If we did two. Two damage. Shield. That is Sigma, right? Is that what symbol that is? I thought they used Gamma instead for that. Ah, whatever. Fire Beta. Psychic Shield. Disappeared. Alright. Not good. Buzz Buzz doing a lot of damage. Look at that. I remember that fight being harder than it was. Oh well. Oh baby, offense went up by three. Guts went up by one. Vitality went up by one. IQ up by one. HP up by 14. PP up by five. I don't know what some of those stats do, i be honest. Uh, phew. I was taking a big chance there. He came from ten years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, he'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent, due to Gygus' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Well, uh... I think next we take Porky and Picky home. Oh my... Where's, where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. There. By the way, I'd be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. May have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and, and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finished last. That's the story of our life. Aye! I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. Bug Buzz, or Buzz Buzz, no. Bug Buzz is a Pokemon move. Ah. I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, you, you, your own power must unite with the Earth's. 
The earth will channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. Did you understand? All right. You are a very intelligent young man. And all the pain ever is getting dark. <gasps> Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It's the sound stone. You can record the melodies from your, uh, from the eight your sanctuary locations into this stone. It's an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you hear what? But did you want to hear the story one more time? I think I have it. Buzz, buzz. Good. It's already dawn outside. But doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. <gasps> <laughs> Let's got the soundstone. Well, um, really lay, really laid it all on the table there. But we've got a journey to go on, and some iconic music to listen to. Uh, one last thing. Oh. Okay, two last things. I forgot about this guy. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm the pho I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready? Save fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest memories. That's the photo guy. He just shows up. Uh, but one last thing before I end this episode. I want to stop by home one last time. You're back. Don't bother yourselves with, ta with talking now. You look too tired. Others understand these things. Eat some steak and scoot up the bed. Get a nice rest. A free heal. My sister is still here? What do you have to say about this? Any comments? I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. That's nice. You can also leave everything you don't need with me. Do you want me to hang on to something? Uh, no thanks. Not right now. Be careful. I don't want to go out anymore. I don't care if everything. I don't care if everyone thinks I'm a stubborn mutt. Well, take care of yourself, King. And let's call our dad. Yes, it's your dad. I deposited forty-six dollars in your bank account. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have seventy-six dollars in the bank. Well, XP to next level. For you, it's thirteen. Uh, anyway, what do you really, what do you need from me? Uh, record. All done. And your old dad was, was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I've created a record of your adventure at this point. Uh, alright. Yes, you like to work hard, just, just like your mother. But I don't think it's good to work too hard. We can save at telephones. Our dad will save our progress and tell us things like experience and money earned. Uh, next time on Earthbound, we'll start our journey, try and head out for wherever this giant step location is. Until then, though, remember to stay positive, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.